Okay, so in my previous video, I talked about a very special type of uh, series called white noise series where 95% of the spikes are within uh, these two critical values and if uh, more than 5% of uh, these ACF spikes are outside uh, this range or these uh, blue dotted lines, the series is not white noise. Which means in order to see that uh, if a series is white noise or not, we have to calculate or count the number of uh, spikes outside these blue dashed lines or outside these two critical values. That is we have to see whether 95% of the coefficient values are outside these bars or not. In this video, I'm going to talk about a test called the long box test that we can use to see whether any groups of autocorrelations of a time series are statistically significant or not, that is whether they are different from zero or not. So in this case, we'll be testing for the overall randomness based on the number of lags. That is, we'll see whether overall these correlation coefficients are statistically significant or not. I'm not going to go into the details of this test, rather I'm going to talk about the intuition behind this test and then I'm going to show you a couple of examples in R applying uh, this test. So the null hypothesis for this test is that uh, the series is IID or independent and identically distributed. That is the series is uh, white noise. And our alternative hypothesis would be the series is non-random that is the series shows some serial correlation or autocorrelation building upon the idea of a hypothesis testing that you learn in your statistics class a small p value means that we'll reject this null hypothesis and we will conclude that the series is not white noise and a large p value means uh, that we fail to reject the null hypothesis and the series is uh, white noise. And normally, if a series is white noise, it will give you a very large p-value. So don't worry about uh, these uh, critical values. A white noise series will give you a p-value which is large enough to make a decision. So let's go to R and uh, work with a couple of examples. So in this first example, I'm looking at this data set called uh, pigs. And uh, looking at the time plot of this data set, it's very hard to see any observable pattern in the series and conclude that whether this series is showing any trend, any seasonality in it. To see whether a group of correlation coefficients of different lags of this series show statistical significance or not, we can use this uh, test, long box test. So I'm going to use uh, this function box test. And the first argument that's going to go in this function is uh, this uh, data set pigs. Our next argument is the number of lags that we want to include in this uh, case and I'm including only 24 lags. And then this argument uh, fit degrees of freedom includes uh, degrees of freedom. I'm going to set it equal to zero. And the type of test that we want to calculate is the long box test LJ in this case. So let's go ahead and uh, look at uh, this uh, test value. So now looking at the p-value, the p-value is very very small telling us that uh, we reject the null hypothesis that this series is IID. We conclude that there are some patterns in this uh, series. So looking closely, it's very hard to see any observable pattern in this series but this test is telling us that there are some patterns in the series. We can look at the ACF of uh, this series and uh, obviously the ACF is showing us that the uh, majority of the spikes out of these 24 lags are statistically significant. And this is exactly what this test told us that uh, most of the spikes are statistically significant because uh, most of the spikes are outside these blue dashed lines. So we conclude that this series is not uh, white noise. Okay, then I'm going to set the seed equal 3 and uh, I'm going to generate uh, 50 random numbers and save it as a series Z. And then I'm going to auto plot this series and uh, see this series looks like it's completely random. There is no observable pattern in the series. And, and then I'm going to apply 
long box test on uh, this series and the p-value that I'm getting for this uh, series is 0 0.96 that is we fail to reject the null hypothesis that this series is IID or random. Now we can also look at uh, the autocorrelation function or a correlogram and we'll see that uh, all of these uh, 20 spikes are within uh, these blue dashed lines which corroborates with our long box uh, test value. Thus we conclude that this series is uh, white noise and in the case of our earlier series it was showing us that the series was not white noise. So this was a very important concept that you learned in this uh, video. So we'll come back to the long box uh, test extensively in this uh, class. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.